Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider a problem on overlap add method. It says that find the output y of n of the filter whose impulse response is h of n is given and the input sequence, input signal to the filter x of n, which is a long data sequence, is given as, uh, as shown. Using overlap add method, use six point circular convolution. So, this is the point given. So, let me consider solving this. Uh, numerical. So first uh, let me write ls. ls is the length of the input data sequence. So what is the length of the input data sequence? Just count the number of samples. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So ls, ls must be of length 17. Then I will also write m. m is the length of the impulse response h of n. So what is the length? Length is 4. So it takes length as 4, m equal to 4. Then I can uh, write capital N equal to, it is length of the input block sequences, input blocks. So it says uh, 6 point circular convolution, so N must be 6. Correct? So once it is done, I can calculate uh, using the formula, I will write N equal to L plus M minus 1. In this N is given as 6, L I need to calculate plus M is 4 minus 1. I am going to get L plus 3, 6. Therefore, L is equal to what I am going to get, 6 minus 3, I am going to get 3. So, what does this mean? I have to write, I have to divide the input data sequence X of N into number of blocks and it must be of length 6. In that 6, 3 are going to be from the input data sequence and remaining 3 are going to be 0. So, that's what the uh, overlap add method is. So, let me write, therefore, the input the input sequence x of n is divided as follows. The input sequence x of n is divided as follows. So I will write x1 of n, x2 of n and so on. x1 of n is equal to, so it must be of length 6 and I will consider uh, three elements uh, from the input data sequence. Uh, what is that? It is 1, 2, 1. So let me consider writing 1, 2, 1 and what must be the remaining uh, three samples? They must be 0. So that is how I write x1 of n. Similarly, I need to write x2 of n. x2 of n I have to consider the next three samples that is minus 1, 3, 0. So I will write minus 1, 3, 0. After that, I will append 3 zeros to make it of length 6. Correct? Then consider x3 of n. To write x3 of n, I need to consider the next 3 samples. That is 5, 6, 2. So, I will consider 5, 6, 2 and I will write 3 more zeros. That is x3 of n. Similarly, let me write x4 of n. What must be x4 of n? The next three samples, that is minus 2, minus 5, minus 6. So, let me consider writing them minus 2, minus 5, minus 6 and uh, three more zeros to make it of length 6. And uh, I have to consider x5 of n. So, what must be x5 of n? It is 7, 1, 2. So, let me consider writing 7, 1, 2 and I will add uh, 3 zeros over here. This is x5 of n. I will also have x6 of n. That is the last sequence. x6 of n. Is there anything remaining? Let me just go up and check. I have 0 and 1. So I will write 0 and 1. To make it length of 6, I will add 4 zeros. Correct? So now I got the input data sequence being divided into six different blocks. I need to find the circular convolution of these with uh, impulse response h of n. What is h of n? It is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, but that must be also be of length 6. I have to increase the length to 6 now. Therefore, now, now increase, increase the length of increase the length of h of n 
to 6. Why? Because whenever I'm finding the circular convolution, both the sequences must be of same length. H of n is equal to, it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, I will add 2 zeros to make it of length 6. So once it is done, now I can calculate y1 of n. So what must be y1 of n? It is x1 of n circularly convolved with h of n. So what must be the answer for that? So let me consider writing uh, y1 of n y1 of n is equal to, I will write it using the matrix method, x1 of n is of length 6, 6 samples are there, I will write them as a column, uh, it is uh, 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, 1, so write 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, so that is what, that is how I write. So next I'll take this 0 and I'll write it at the top and I'll shift everything down 1, 2, 1, 0, 0. So next I'll take 0 and I'll write it at the top and I'll shift these things by 1 position 2, 1, 0. So I'll take 0 and I'll write it at the top. I'll shift these things down and I'll get 1, 2, 1. Correct? Then I'll take 1, I'll write it at the beginning. I'll shift these things down 1, 2. So now I'll take 2 and I'll write it at the beginning and I'll shift these things down. 1. So is that okay? So I'll take 1 and write it at the beginning and I'm going to get the first column back. So I'll stop the process at this point of time. Or as good as uh, how many samples are there? 6 samples. There must be 6 columns. Just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, that's it. That's correct. So I'll multiply this with uh, h of n. What is h of n? It is 1, 2, 3. 4, 0, 0. So I'll multiply these two elements now and I'll get the output of y1 of n. So what must be y1 of n? So I'll just multiply 1 into 1, I'm going to 1, 0 into 2, that is 0, 0 into 3, 0, and uh, 0 into 4, that is 0, 1 into 0, 0, 2 into 0, 0. Ultimately, I'm going to get only 1. Is that correct? In the similar way, I'll proceed further. I will uh, move on to the second row, that is this row, and multiply. 2 into 1, that is 2. 1 into 2, that is 2. I'm going to get 4. And the rest of the elements are all going to be 0. So I need to proceed in the similar way. In the third row, I'm going to get 8 as the answer. Then I'm going to get uh, 12. I'm going to get 11. I'm going to get 4. So this is how I multiply two matrices and I get the answer uh, y1 of n. Once it is been done, similarly I need to calculate y2 of n, y3 of n, y4 of n, y5 of n and y6 of n. So I will not do that process, I will leave it to you. So you please do it the way we have done it for y1 of n. The process remains same. I have to consider x2 of n, multiply with h of n and get the answer for y2 of n. So you can just compare your answers with me, whatever I'm getting now. So it is minus 1, 1, 3, 5, 3, 5, 12, 0. So this is the answer for y2 of n. Similarly, you'll get the answer for y3 of n. y3 of n is going to be 5, 16, 5, 16, 29, 42, 30, and 8. So make sure you are also getting the same answer for y3 of n. So moving further, I will get the answer for uh, y4 of n. So what must be y4 of n? I have a minus 2, minus 9, minus 22. It is minus 22, minus 35, minus 38, minus 24. So this is what I am going to get for y4 of n. And I will also get the answer for y5 of n which is going to be 7, 15, 25, 35, 10 and 8. 10 and 8. This is a y5 of n and towards the end I will get y6 of n. y6 of n turns out to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Yes, now I got all the outputs. Now I have to make use of overlap add method and find the answer for y of n. So this is the most uh, trickiest uh, uh, 
uh, position over here so now i'll write y of n equal to so how do i write so i said i will write the first uh, y of y1 of n that is 1 4 8 12 11 4 so let me write consider writing that i will write 1 4 8 then i have uh, 12 11 4 and then i have to write y2 of n and while writing y2 of n i will add it with the last three elements of y1 of n and i will add them is that okay why is that because i have while writing x1 of n i have taken only three elements and i have added three elements so these must be the next output must be added with the previous uh, output that is y1 of n are you getting it what i am saying so now I will consider these elements, the last three elements and I will add with the y2 of n. So what is the y2 of n? It is minus 1, 1, min, let me write minus 1, comma 1, comma 3. Then I have uh, 5, 12, 0. 5, 12, 0. So while I am writing for the next thing, that is uh, y3 of n i have to consider the last three elements of the previous block that is y2 of n i will add these three with the block y3 of n so what is y3 of n it is 5 16 29 so just continue in the same way i have here 5 16 29 42 30 and 8 correct so next i'll move on further and i will add the last three elements these elements with y4 of n so what is y4 of n it is minus 2 minus 9 so i will add minus 2 minus 9 minus 22 then i have uh, minus 35 minus 38 and I also have minus 24. Correct? Once it is done, again I will add the last three elements of this with the next block. Next block I have uh, uh, Wi-Fi of n. So let me write Wi-Fi of n as 7. I will write 7, 15, 25, 35, 10 and 8. So these are the next uh, block that is Y5 of N. To write Y6 of N, what I do is I will add the last three elements of this with Y6 of N. So what is Y6 of N? It is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Yes, this is the end of y of n. So I just have to add up every though everything and I will write the final uh, answer y of n which is going to be I will get first 1, 4, 8, then 12 minus 1 I am going to get 11, then I have 11 and 1 I am going to get 12, 4 plus 3 I am going to get 7. Is that correct? Similarly, moving further, 5 plus 5, I'm going to get 10. Uh, then I have 12 and 16, it turns out to be 28. Then I have 0 and 29, it turns out to be 29. Similarly, moving further, 42 minus 2 turns out to be 40. Uh, then I have 30 minus 9, I'm going to get 21. Then I have 8 minus 22, I'm going to get minus 14. Similarly, minus 35 plus... 7 I am going to get to minus 28 minus 38 plus 15 I am going to get minus 23 then minus 24 plus 25 I am going to get 1 35 plus 0 I am going to get 35 and uh, 10 plus 1 I am going to get 11 8 plus 2 I am going to get 10 then I have 3 I have 4 I have uh, 0 so this is what I am going to get the final output of y of n. 
so i have solved this numerical step by step hope you people have understood if there are any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i will definitely address those the doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on digital signal processing till then thank you everyone for watching